Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin at East Cape Skiff. We have here the Skinoo. The Skinoo is 12.6 by 40 inches. It looks like a bigger, uh, a bigger uh, craft, but it's actually not. It has sides. So basically what I tell people, this is going to be a hybrid paddle craft or a paddle board with sides. It's one of the first paddle crafts that actually have a step up deck. It has a molded in dash. It also has the ability to have an eye pilot on the bow. It has molded in rod holders that hold up to a 12 weight fly rod, spinning or casting, that you can lay forward and backwards. This boat is unrigged with uh, some stuff on it, but uh, using you know rail blades and stuff, they they've uh, rigged this thing out, but you can put the sea deck style on it. It has a non-skid finish. You have your chaser tubes on either side. So if you want to run power for your trolling motor or for your dash area, with a 90 bit at the back, you pop it and you can chase all your wires through. All the way through. Yeah. It has a molded non-skid finish. It has a tumble home on the bottom. And that, uh, that gives it strength, stability, and it also allows the paddle, the drift to go to the side, go to the back. Mm -hmm. Now once you're in the back, you have a standing pod that you can stand on, you can sit on it, and you can paddle, you can pull this, you can row this, and you can power it. It takes up to a three horse because that's what it's legally rated for. Gotcha. It has a rounded transom, so when you're posted up, you don't have any noise. This thing weighs uh, approximately 106 to 108 pounds. We are working on a roto-molded version. MSRP and composite is 3,600, but we anticipate the roto-molded version between 900 and 1,200 bucks. One of the cool things I want to tell everybody, if you guys fish the salt water, the, the, uh, the bays, the backwater, everything like that, the problem with traditional kayaks and paddle crafts are, is you have rudders and you have skegs. Or if you're a paddle board, you have fins. Well, mm -hmm. this doesn't have that. This right. has what's called pulling strings. So draft on this is going to be between two and a half and four inches, and it'll track straight. Mm -hmm. If you're a heavier set guy and you stand on the back. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. If you're a heavier set guy and you stand on the back, the shine is still below the waterline. So everybody says they have a quiet kayak. You guys, mm -hmm. we've been building boats for 16 years. They'll do a quick scan behind you. East Cape has been building over a thousand skiffs, but this was our creation. Uh, my business partner and I started as paddlers that wanted to build a crossover boat in a skiff. Now, 16 years later, we came back and we want to show the paddle industry what skiff guys could think of that also paddle fish. So again, the Skinoo, it's got a rolled edge, so you have working area for a track system. Again, using the rail blazing system, or you can do push pull holders. Mm -hmm. If you're a heavier set guy and you walk to the front of the boat, don't worry, it's not gonna go underwater because it has freeboard. So I don't know anybody else that can stand back here, run an eye pilot without a mount, molded in rod holders, a tank wheel in the back that'll take a crate, a five gallon bucket, or a 1200cc battery. What about a cooler? Anything. Get a cool, yeah, yeah, Anything. cooler too. So, Skanoo, East Cape Skanoo, S-K-A-N-U.